Your Fantasy Portal welcomes you to Van and Paley's Movie Night. I'm your host, Donna, author of the Anchorist book series. For those of you not familiar with the series, the main character is teenage Vanessa Cross. She and her best friend, Paley Ash, decided to hang out tonight and watch movies at Van's house, otherwise known as The Manor. Imagine yourself there with them, immerse yourself into their world by following along with the video. In the spirit of it being fall, and the time when witches and wizards head back to Hogwarts, the girls decided to binge watch all eight Harry Potter movies. As Paley would say, with his movies, there's snacks. But Van's stepmother Jeannie is off island on a shopping trip, and the Cross's housekeeper Luma is off on the long holiday weekend, leaving Van and Paley to fend for themselves when it comes to making snacks. Van wants to make something to match the theme of fall and Harry Potter, so she suggests making snacks using pumpkins. What snacks do you want to make? Paley immediately agreed with Van and is excited to make pumpkin pasties, just like the one seen in Harry Potter. They also decided to make fresh iced pumpkin juice. Naturally, the recipes have to be easy since the girls are not cooks. Here is the simple recipe Van and Paley are using right now to make iced pumpkin juice. To follow along, you'll need four cups apple juice, half a can pumpkin puree, eighth of a cup maple syrup, eighth of a cup brown sugar, one teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, and a pinch of salt. Combine the pumpkin puree, maple syrup, brown sugar, three quarters teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, salt in one cup of apple juice in a large pot over medium heat. Bring to a low simmer and then remove from heat. Add the remaining three cups of chilled apple juice to the warmed pumpkin mixture and stir to combine. Pour the mixture into a glass serving pitcher and let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour or until cold. You can drink it warm if you want, but Van insists on it being iced. While they're waiting for the pumpkin juice to chill, they're putting together the ingredients for pumpkin pasties. Here's what you'll need. One third cup sweet potato, a third cup Yukon gold potato, a quarter cup medium sized onion, two to three garlic cloves, one tablespoon olive oil, a quarter cup vegetable broth, and two teaspoons cornstarch, three quarter cup pumpkin puree, you can use the other half of the can, one teaspoon tomato paste, one teaspoon dried sage, half a teaspoon dried basil, half a teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, one third cup vegan cheese. For the crust, one box pre-made puff pastry, parchment paper, and a small bowl filled with water to dip your fingers. Next, you're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small bowl, pour the vegetable broth and add the cornstarch. Stir with a fork to combine and set aside. In a medium-sized saucepan, heat the tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. Add the sage, onions, and garlic. Cook for a few minutes until the onions are just turning translucent. Next, add the diced potatoes and cook until they're soft. Time will depend on how small you dice them. Check after a few minutes. Don't cook all the way through because you're baking them in a moment. Then add the pumpkin puree, tomato paste, basil, paprika, salt, and black pepper. Mix until well combined. Then pour in the vegetable stock, corn starch mixture, and mix well. Cook until the ingredients thicken, remove from heat, and allow the mixture to cool completely before moving to the next step. Prepare the baking tray by covering with parchment paper or mist the tray with a non-stick cooking oil spray. Set up your work surface. It can be a cutting board or parchment paper on a counter or a table. Once the filling is cool, place the small bowl of water in the filling next to your work surface. Take out one sheet of the pre-made dough. Pre-made dough is pre-dusted so you can unroll the dough over your work surface and cut out four rounds from one sheet. Repeat for the other sheet. Van found a really cool dumpling maker in the manor's kitchen, so the girls use that to make their pasties. Interested in getting your own dumpling maker? The link to the one Van and Paley use is in the write-up below. 
Scoop a tablespoon of filling and place it in the center of the dough circle. Careful not to overfill so the filling doesn't touch the edges or the dough. If using cheese, sprinkle on top. Since Van is on a perpetual diet, she and Paley omitted the cheese. Brush the edges of half the circle with water using your fingers or a pastry brush and fold over the other half. If you don't have a dumpling maker, simply press the edges lightly with your fingers and then take a fork and crimp the edges to completely seal them together. Now we need to vent the pasties. With a sharp paring knife, carefully score three vents at the top of the pasties and place them on the prepared baking tray. Repeat for the other sheet. Roll out the extra dough you had cut off earlier and repeat the process. All in all, it should make about 12 pasties. Place the pasties on the parchment lined baking tray and bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until the dough is cooked through and the pasties are a golden brown. Remove from the oven and you're going to cool it on a baking tray for 10 minutes or a wire baking rack. Don't worry about the recipes. Van and Paley will leave the instructions below. Now's the time to grab the pumpkin juice, which should be nice and chilled. Serve in special movie night glasses over ice. The girls made theirs fancy by sprinkling the remaining pumpkin pie spice over the top of the juice and tucking a slice of apple on the side of the glasses. Mmm, yummy! Serve the juice with the pumpkin pasties. And look at the pasties. They look just like something out of Harry Potter. And remember, they don't have to look perfect. Nothing in the Wizarding World is perfect. They just have to be yummy. And yummy they are. The pumpkin pasties came out delicious. Far better than Van imagined they would. Paley gives them a thumbs up as she has already stuffed two of them into her mouth. The girls are all grins as they're guzzling the delicious pumpkin juice and eating the pumpkin pasties as Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone begins to play on the screen in the Manor's home theater. The whole setting is enough to make the girls feel like they're sitting in the Great Hall at Hogwarts. There you have it! Movie night with Van and Paley! Let me know how your movie night went by leaving a comment below and be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Thanks for watching your fantasy portal, the place where fantasy and fun come to life.